you're not still working at the store. No, I just perform there a lot. Right, because yeah. you got passed mm-hmm. at the store, and that was recent. It was like a year and a half ago. And were you in that class with Ryan Sickler? And was that I the think batch? I was before him. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Because there, I saw you on TV get mm-hmm. told in the kitchen. Yeah. By I forgot his Adam name. Egan. Adam, who yeah, moved yeah. down to Texas yeah. to help Joe run his club. Yeah, and they had us re they had us reenact that. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. I'm a terrible actor. Well, you pulled it off because it perfect. Did, I believed it. Oh, okay. Well, like, wow, their camera guy was just standing right if there. If it was real, I would have been crying the whole time because that's what actually happened. Oh, yeah? Yeah, because so the way they did it was uh, so he watches you for like six weeks mm-hmm. and then he's watching everybody. And then at the end of the six weeks, I, and I knew it was going to happen because like after I got off oh, my set, he like gave me a high five and I was like, you've never given me a high five. Oh, or a wow. fucking fist bump. Like, you never do shit like never. that. Never. Never. Does he give anybody a fist bump? It's very rare. He does, but it's yeah. very rare. that. But I know. I was like, oh, okay. That's something. Yeah. And then I remember I went in the back. I was smoking weed. Mm-hmm. And then uh, I start to leave, and it's him and the director for the Showtime doc they're doing. Yeah. And I walk by him, and then he comes up to me, and he's just like, uh, he's like, hey, just want to let you know, uh, been you know, love your journey. You've been very, very fun. Uh, what's called, uh, you're very, very funny. I love the turn you've made. I've watched you grow. Um, you know, you're past now. You can start calling in on Mondays for paid regular spots. Wow. You're, you're paid regular now. And then I immediately just started crying. Yeah. Cause I, he, I was like, are you fucking kidding me? He was like, yeah. And the scream I let out when he told me another comic, um, was there. Uh, he thought someone had told me that, uh, someone had died. Right. Because it was such a like shocking thing. And then I was just hugging at him and crying. And then they're like, no, he just got passed. And he was like, Oh, fucking sweet. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Were you uh, passed alone or were you passed with a group? It was me, Laura bites, uh, miss Pat and Tim Dillon. Oh, interesting. Yeah. 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 Well, and I was me. the only door guy that got passed in that group. Right. Yeah, because so he he usually passes three like outside people or people that you know what I mean like yeah, and then he passes like uh, a door person. Yeah, maybe it's usually sometimes it's a door person that gets passed. Sometimes there's not. If one's ready. If one's ready. Yeah. yeah. So uh, yeah, I was like fucking. Oh man, I was like so ready. Did you and you were you still working at the store at the time? I was. I worked there for about a year and a half after that. Before I, I actually I didn't quit until the pandemic hit. Right. And it was good that I didn't quit before because the whole reason that I even the whole reason the whole reason I'm fucking still afloat is because I had that job. And it was because when I, when we all got furloughed, mm-hmm. the store still took care of us. They pay like, I don't, wow. I don't think a lot of people know this, but the store took care of all of their employees, like very well. They made sure that we were pretty taken care of up for at least a couple months. And then when we finally were able to file for unemployment and everything, we were still were able to get all those benefits as well. So they went above, I think they spent, God, they spent a, like, a couple million dollars yeah just making sure we were all fine and joe kind of pitched in on that too, a lot right? of comics pitched in yeah. too because they also pitched in for the charity which was the fund that also helped us to paid regulars and employees yeah 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 so because i heard about that and i was like man how far can that go they have to have like 50 60 i mean employees. They, they took care of so many people it yeah. was very very good it was it was awesome that's like, super cool. it was a life-saving thing too because yeah. i was gonna it was so funny because i was gonna quit because Rogan and a few other people were giving me that, like, you're a pad regular now, you got to quit and blah, blah, start your, start your podcast, you know, do what you can, you know, we'll help you as much as we can. I was like, absolutely. And my wife was like, fuck those millionaires. Right. <laughs> yeah. You need a job. And then the pandemic hit, and then I was able to still uh, have all those benefits and apply for things. Yeah. Because another comic, Abby, had quit right before, and he wasn't able to. Robert? Yeah, he wasn't yeah. able to get any of that yeah. until they opened it up later, which was amazing because he was fucking sweating and i would be too dog we were all sweating 